Hello friends, Heidi here from Rain Country Homestead and we we're expected to have a pretty good storm coming through here last or tonight and uh, so we're just running running around making some extra taking some extra precautions and making you know more preparedness plans here for how they're expecting it to be a historical event um, and so what I'm doing right now is I making a couple of new can soy candles because I burned quite a bit last night because um, we had a power outage for about 15 hours and as you know we're pretty much mostly off grid I've got we've got solar power that can run our LED lights pretty good however with this with as dark and cloudy as it's been and this time of the year our days getting shorter I do the best I can to conserve our battery bank so that we can keep our internet running as long as the internet doesn't go down completely all over the area if the internet doesn't go down then we can still have internet because we can run our our modem off of uh, solar power so we have like right here i have you know a gas lamp lamp this is just for real brightness i have lanterns all over the house that we just we just refilled and this is one of my favorites it's just a little guy this is originally a uh, it, it's antique it was a railroad lantern and it had a red lens i got it i paid only a dollar for this thing there's and it's perfect for hanging here in my kitchen and what we did was we took we took the glass off and just uh removed the red because i didn't want the light to be red so and then I'll, I'll take you around and show you some of the other prepared preparations that we're making for tonight. And they're just extra. I mean, we're pretty much ready for power outages. That's not, that's not our concern. I'm just doing extras. Their main concern is that this is supposed to be remnants of a typhoon coming through here tonight. And they're saying it's probably going to be the worst storm uh, maybe ever for our area. But um, before I move on to that, I want to show you a couple other things. So Amanda over at Freedom Acres is putting together a, an, a crocheted version of a cre crazy quilt. And from her subscribers, she's asked for some granny squares. And I wanted, so I'm making a couple of, I made a couple of granny squares to send her way. And I made them each different colors, trying to stick to the basic standard granny square pattern but adding just a little bit of detail i don't know if you can see the the basic kind of rib knit sort of look here by using the front post crochet and then another one in this a similar design but different colors so hopefully i'll be getting those um, out to her on monday if all goes well okay and then another thing i want to show you is i ordered one of these absolutely amazingly beautiful maple handmade spoons from Deep South Homestead. And Danny makes these. And I'm just in love with this thing. I don't know that I could ever actually use it to cook with because I don't want it to get stained. It, it's gorgeous. So you can find Deep South Homestead, and then he burns this into the back, on Etsy. And you can order these from them. And they have other really neat items. I want to show you the other thing I, I bought. And that is the Cooking Southern Style with Deep South Homestead. And I just, and there's Daddy and Wanda. A couple of the most lovely people I know. And I want to show you how beautifully this thing is put together. The, I mean, you just want to sit here and look at it because it's so pretty. The illustrations all through. Look at that, isn't that just beautiful? I almost wanna take these out and um, frame them and hang them on my wall. But I don't wanna deface this beautiful cookbook either. Look at that. I love these things, just beautiful. But anyway, all kinds of great um, Southern style recipes in here. And so I'm very excited about this. And the funny thing about me, I'm not much of a cookbook person. I like to just make my own recipes and stuff. But 
this was something this is just something special and I had to have it because Danny and Wanda put this together and I love them and just the whole idea of cooking southern style and yeah so anyway I recommend this and you can also find that on their Etsy store Deep South Homestead all right so now I'm going to take you around and show you a little bit of our other preparations going on for the storm tonight well, it's a little dark in my living room right now I've got one of our lights on but we just we just don't have any lights in the living room other than a couple of lamps and then all our LED string lights but that's one of our lanterns it's a oh why do I always forget the name Führhand I'm I think I'm pronouncing it right it's a German lantern very well made um, so since my living room has lots of greens in it I went for the dark green in here all right and then here's another lantern on the other side almost the opposite side of the living room and these are here all all year round um, what we did was we bought these neat looking plant hangers and have them in various places I think I ha right now have five of them or six of them around the house and I'll show you where those are now some of you may have seen um, watched the video where my husband uh, made this shelf out of some old fence boards so you gotta go check that out. This is, I love, love, love this shelf. But what I came in here to show you is some of the stuff I'm, I'm talking about preparing for the storm. Well, a lot of the stuff I'm showing you right now is stuff we already have. So as you see here, this is, this is one of our bathrooms and you can tell by the sound, it has a very tall ceiling in here. Um, I keep these button, these puck lights in each of the bathrooms and in our bedroom above the light switch I, there's a reason why I put this one up way high above the light switch because um, when I was, this is the bathroom the dance students would use and so I wanted it high up enough that the dance students just couldn't come in here and just turn it on at will and forget about it and then I come and when I need it there's no batteries in it so I'd say if the power goes out you can just quickly hit one of these you know and uh, I don't have to keep a lantern burning in here all the time but I do have, I do keep in, in each of the bathrooms a mini oil lamp. So that's the one that's in here. I also have a lantern up there that, that's just a cheap one, um, but it is usable. Mostly it's there for looks, but it can be taken down and used anywhere. Obviously that's not a good place to have it because it's too, to burn because it's too close to the wall. But, uh, this is an old antique toy gun that my sons found out in the woods. All right. Pretty cool. So as you can see, Patrick is getting the chainsaw all sharpened up. So if we have to cut limbs out of the roads and off the house and whatever, he's ready to go. Well, we keep if you're driving around a pickup, that's the best thing to do is to drive around a full drive pickup. And then if you uh, keep one of these in the back of the truck, you can file and a bar wrench. Uh, you should be able to get through just about anything other than something coming through the window. Yeah. So there's that. Down file or chisel bit tooth. Skip tooth. I thought that was that. What is it? Maybe that's that. <laughs> What's that? I thought you were done. No. Sorry. Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> done now? Okay, so let's move on to the next thing. Making sure everything's running good on our little generator. We probably, lot, most of the time we don't even use it because we really don't need it. But it's still a good idea to make sure that it's running good just in case. Because as I said, you know, we've got our solar power to take care of the real necessary things like keeping sure, making sure, over there. Love this generator because it's so quiet. It helps to turn it on too. Oh yeah, that helps too. It's just a nice quiet generator and runs everything we need it to. We'll keep all the windows open in here, especially if it's windy, it'll keep it fairly well ventilated in here. So you always got to be mindful of carbon monoxide. run for a minute so we can cycle any old gas out of it. 
It's good to check that now than later. Yep. And I also do the that little saw there, making sure it's ready. And it's so cute. Usually all the saws that we have around here are in good, good shape, so we don't have to, you know, do a whole lot. It's just to run around, cycle, make sure things topped off. and Exactly. You know. And, yeah. Uh, but we usually keep this stuff in good shape. Yep. And like I said, we don't use the generator that much because we have the, the solar and then we have the wood stove. But sometimes you just, like if our solar, if our power, our battery bank is low and or we're running something out here or some extra stuff, it's it's just nice to have this as our backup. I'm out here in my laundry room. I showed you in another video. And I want, I don't know that I showed that we have, I also have one of those German lanterns hanging here. And I'll try to link, I want to link the company to below because these are an expensive lantern, but they're very well made. And if you get like this one and I, the two black ones I got for the rec room, if you look and you look for the dent, you can get the uh, the dented ones. They have like a special link in the Vermont lantern place for the dented ones and you can get $10 off. And I had to really look to find the dent. It's it's in the tank, all, and all of them, the dent is on the tank, but it's, you can barely see it. It's just a small, small dent that effect, doesn't affect the integrity of it at all. So, and then uh, pan down here, as you can remember, this little guy. Yeah, pretty cool, huh? So, and then um, right now we're doing a lot of stuff on public power just to conserve our, our battery bank so that we just to make sure that we have enough power to run all the most necessary things to get us through the night and even if not then we can turn on the gas generator it's just we'd rather not because obviously we're using fuel when we do that all right so I, that might be about it so i'm out here in the front and i want to show you all this mess you see out here right now in the yard that's from the, the storm that we had last night and the ditch isn't look doesn't look too full. It will be filled to the top and overflowing tonight. Um, but what I want to show you is okay. This is our cedar tree, and it's this is not that big, um, so it's not really a concern. That other that stump over there was from another cedar we had taken out last year because it was getting too big. But now these trees, that's on the neighbor's property. These are the ones that are a cause for concern for us. And they're very close to our house. I know you can't really tell the difference between the height, but there is, there is actually a pretty big difference between the size of this cedar here and then these trees over here. And a couple of years ago, the tops of one of these trees actually came down in another freak storm that came through and took out the neighbors, took out their gutter and you think they would have got on it and taken that, had those trees taken out or at least topped, but uh, they never got it done. So I'm very concerned about the neighbor that lives there. She's renting the place and, and very concerned about our own place as well as the neighbors across the street. Cause those are, those are big enough. <laughs> they could take out their house too. So keep us in your prayers tonight. This is a, uh, don't, I'm not afraid of the rain. I'm not. Af I'm not afraid of losing power. That's just not an issue for us. We're prepared for those things, but there's nothing to stop those trees from coming down on our roof or anyone else's. And I mean, if it were up to us, we would. If we had control over it, we would have taken those trees out. But they're sadly they're still there. So keep us in your prayers. Um, there really isn't much to our preparation because we're pretty much always already prepared for, for this kind of thing. But again, there's, there's always those things that you can never fully prepare for. So then we have to trust God with that and then see our deck is a mess from all this stuff coming down because of the storm last night and it'll get worse. There'll be a much bigger mess as more branches and stuff come down. So. Hopefully, I'll be able to see some of you in chat tonight if the internet doesn't go out all over town. If it doesn't, then our solar power can run our modem and we'll, we'll be on there, Patrick and I, and communicating and letting you all know how we're doing in the chats and the shows tonight. And I don't want to miss the shows. We love them. So um, um, if I can get this video up in time, 
I'll let you know that. So walk, so get onto the Homestead Network site, and and I, I know that Deep South Homestead's on tonight, and American Homestead's on tonight, and I'm kind of having a brain cramp. Oh, um, oh gosh, I'm having a brain cramp. I wish I was looking at the list. Sorry, people. Uh, sometimes I get Sundays and Saturdays mixed up, so I'm afraid I'll say the wrong thing. I'm thinking off grid nation i think no that's sundays anyway go look at the homestead stead network list uh, and go to the showtimes homesteadnetwork.com and you'll find the showtimes and be able to see who's who's on for tonight okay so take care thanks for watching god bless <laughs>